Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt, and today we're going to be taking a look at a product from TomTom, Tom, and that is their new Bandit Action Camera. Having a price tag of around $300, it's definitely not cheap, but compared to something like the GoPro Hero 4 Black, it's about $100 less while offering kind of similar features and a slightly larger design. So let's see what comes with the Bandit Action Cam, and just how well it really works. Inside you'll get a quick start guide, a couple of mounts including a GoPro adapter which will work with any GoPro accessory, and of course you get the Bandit Action Camera. The design is pretty simple, it only comes in this white, black, and red colorway. It is a little bit larger than most action cameras, especially GoPros, and does have some weight to it, but overall it feels solid and durable. On the front there is the IPX7 splashproof interchangeable lens cover. Now this only allows you to take it a few meters underwater unless you purchase the optional diver's lens cover which will make it waterproof for up to 50 meters so it kind of sucks that that isn't included right out of the box. Behind that is the HD camera with a wide angle lens that can technically shoot up to 4K but only at 15 frames per second. Otherwise you can shoot up to 2.7K with 30fps, 1080p at 60fps, or 720p at 120fps. You can also shoot time lapses, slow motion video, and take pictures up to 16 megapixels, which is pretty nice. On top is where you'll find all the navigation controls as well as the not so great display, but you'll probably be using the companion app on your phone most of the time anyways. On the back there is a what they call bat stick which slides right out and this basically integrates the battery with a USB 3 connection and a micro SD card slot. So it's pretty convenient for charging and syncing files at the same time, however they don't actually include a micro SD card right out of the box so again, kind of annoying. Lastly on the bottom you have the rotational mounting system and a few other things about the Bandit. There is a built in mic and the battery life is pretty good, not great, you can expect to get around 2-3 to three hours of use so I wouldn't say long lasting but it is pretty decent. Getting the Bandit set up is really easy, you need to either have an iOS or Android device to get the free app, and once you have it synced up, you're ready to start shooting. There are 5 different modes to select from, and the first one is just video. So here's what shooting at 1080p 30fps looks like just to give you an idea, and I will also provide links to the uncompressed videos I shot for different resolutions and modes in the description. The video quality is great, and I would even say it comes pretty close to the Hero 4 in some areas, but as you can see the lighting and colors look very nice while having a lot of detail even in low light. Next is photo mode, which lets you take normal photos or photo bursts for action shots, and again the quality is really good. There's also the slow motion mode, which basically shoots 1080p at 60fps, then slows the footage down to 30 frames per second, giving you that half speed slow motion, and it does a nice job. If you're a fan of time lapses, then there's a mode for that, and if you use the app, it will automatically cut together a time lapse so you don't have to edit anything. Lastly, you have the cinematic mode, which is a little bit unnecessary because you can only shoot 4K at 15 frames per second, which won't end up looking good at all, or at 2.7K with 30 frames per second, which is slightly better, but if you're looking for high quality recording options, the Bandit really isn't meant for it. The app is really where TomTom Tom is trying to be innovative by making it easy to edit all of your footage with a feature they call Shake to Edit. This will take all of your selected clips and choose the most exciting moments in order to put them together in a single video. It does do this pretty well and if you just hate editing video or don't have the time, it's actually a useful feature and of course you can go in and change things, add some music or an overlay, but this is the main selling point of the Bandit. So if you're looking for a professional action camera that shoots in the highest of resolutions, then obviously the GoPro Hero 4 Black is the way to go. But if you just want something that will provide you with a nice action video that's quickly cut together, then for sure the TomTom Tom Bandit Action Camera is the best option out there. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to subscribe if you aren't already, as it really does help me out. You can also follow me on twitter.com slash coastormer for live updates and news on all my new content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.